What is going on, everybody? We are back on it. My Hero Academia Season 4, Episode 18. I guess we've got a handful of episodes left. I think there's 25 episodes. Um, if I had kind of predict how it's going to be paced out, I think we'd probably get another two to three, maybe four episodes of kind of this student UA kind of slice of life episodes with maybe a little bit of like progression in there. Maybe we see some stuff with Mirio or airy and kind of stuff like that and then i have a feeling they've kind of done the same recipe every season where you know it's really intense for like the first 60 70 percent of the season then we cool down like really cool cool down and then the last two or three episodes set us up for next season i wouldn't be surprised if like episodes 22 through 25 are more kind of us pivoting to maybe what the next villain is going to be. Is there going to be a next villain? Or is it going to be just all kind of Shigaraki set up? I'm not sure like where the story is paced out wise for the for the manga and all that stuff, but if every if it's gonna kind of be the same recipe, like new villain, get rid of the villain, but it's always Shigaraki. New villain, get rid of the villain, always Shigaraki in the end. Is the next kind of pivot to whatever kind of the the impeding threat is is it just going to be another villain that we kind of like you know wash over with little casualties and then but it's always going to lead to Shigaraki or or is Shigaraki and them going to start making whatever their move is we don't, I don't even know what Shigaraki's like ultimate kind of goal is here um I hear a lot of chatter about hopefully there will be like a prison break episode where all the villains get out stain um all for one overhaul. Like I'd love to see something wild like that. When the kids are like really matured and kind of out of the school, maybe Mirio's gotten his quirk back. Man, that could be some groundbreaking stuff. Especially if they make the characters like it depends on how they... I don't know why I'm talking that far ahead. I have no idea. I don't from my knowledge that's never even happened. I know it's a lot of people have hinted at that we might get that. Like we might see Stain again. We might see Overhaul again if they do kind of a prison outbreak thing. But if they were to do it I'd want the villains to come out and really, like, fuck shit up. Not just, like, be broken out and get easily corralled. Like, I want to see casualties, death, villains coming out, you know, twice as strong as they were. You know, something epic like that. If they were just going to be broken out just for our guys to kind of show off their skills, then I wouldn't doubt it. Um, maybe we'll see some more one uh, Class 1B things. Um, and, I mean, I'm guessing we'll just see kind of where this pivots to. Last episode, it looks like... Now Bakugo and Todoroki are, I guess, even with all the other kids. Everybody's got the same licenses. They can proceed and all do the same kind of things. Nobody's stuck chasing. And we'll see how they refine their quirks. Still fingers crossed that Muriel will get his back. Um, I enjoyed the Endeavor stuff last episode. I really hope we do, because there's going to be a transition, whether it's Endeavor dying or Deku finally, you know, leapfrogging so, you know, it's the story of Deku, how he becomes the number one hero. There's going to be a transition somewhere. Whether Deku takes the number one spot or Endeavor somehow can't hold it, a.k.a. he dies. Before which whichever happens, I would like to see... I would like to see some Endeavor storyline. Because you see, he wants to... He had that talk with All Might, and he had the talk with Todoroki, and... He wants to know how he can be the like he's try he's physically trying as much as he can, but no matter how much he tries, he's not all might. He doesn't have the same, you know. I mean, he doesn't have the same effect skill wise, but just like personality and charisma and making heroes look up to you and making villains fear you. He doesn't have like that it factor. I would like to see him reach that or figure out what his version of the number one hero is um, before he's no longer the number one hero. Um, so we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that plays out. Um, quick heads up. Tomorrow, we're having a live stream with our final Hunter Hunter episode. It'll be live on Twitch. My Twitch link should be in the description. Click on that. Follow it in case you, don't, you won't um, be nearby or you forget. I'm thinking we're going to start around maybe 3 to 4 p.m. I'm going to say 4. I'm going to split the difference. I was saying 3 or 5. I'm going to say 4 p.m. Um, Eastern time. So kind of sync that up wherever you guys are at. 
Um, if you have any questions, go to my last Hunter Hunter episode and leave your questions there. Questions, if you have any questions that I've never answered or you're interested in my thoughts on something, certain characters, who I think is the best, the worst, certain plot points, storylines, what did I think of this, that, or the other, how do I rank, whatever, 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 anything related to Hunter Hunter. Leave it in the comment sections of my last video. I'm going to answer every question relating to any questions that anybody brought up. Um, just because I don't want people's questions to get lost in the Twitch chat and then I get yelled at that I missed a question or why didn't I answer this question. Um, because with our Hunter Hunter, I mean, we've ranged anywhere from like 40 to 70 viewers at, uh, at a given time. Um, and with the chat going and stuff like that, trying to keep up with it and answer, I don't want anybody's questions to get lost. So if you don't have any questions and you just want to see the kind of the reaction, you know, it'll be there. I plan to upload the video, um, Monday. So if you're unable to make the live stream, don't worry, I'll upload it Monday. And then Monday as well, Demon Slayer episode one will be uploaded on YouTube. So the new upload schedule will be Demon Slayer Monday, full metal for Patreon early access and then full metal for youtube tuesdays demon slayer wednesday again full metal early access patreon full metal youtube thursday friday off saturday hunter hunter i mean saturday my hero and i'm thinking sunday vinland saga patreon only exclusive and then i think the following sunday next sunday which i guess will be the first sunday in march um get the podcast going with that um and I guess that is about it. Also, if anybody can DM me on Twitter or if you're in my Discord, the best place to watch Demon Slayer, you guys let me know. Um, I'm guessing subbed, overdubbed. You guys can fill me in on all that. Um, let's go ahead and do it. So the opening just ended. There's 21 minutes and 28 seconds left. Um, so sync that up accordingly. I think we're 221. We're 2 minutes, 21 seconds in pressing play right now. I want to see some more of the kids. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. She's breaking it down. What the hell's happening right now? What are we doing? I was about to say, girl, you got a skirt on. Take it easy. Yeah, and this fucking naval laser dude creeped everybody out last episode. Yo, they got a real, like, beat going on in the background. She's over here b-boying. Oh, God. He's so stiff. Oh, whoa. Why is she freaking out? I wanted to know if she was going to have a prominent part in these next, like, ten episodes. I mean, she is the opening. I don't know if they just did that because they were playing music and she's, like, the music one. So they put her in there or she's actually going to have a, a plot point. Agreed. Is it really? I agree. I need to get a sleeping bag. It's still school at the end of the day. Okay, they get a chance to... Yeah. They still get their shine. 
They they need an event to kind of chill out. I wonder if this event, if anything, is going to happen. There's no way this event, you know, goes on without a hiccup or somebody infiltrating. I still want to know. I don't know if it's maybe it's come up in the manga. Um, who who's the mole? I it could be a kid. Um, but could also be a teacher. Which you know, who is it? I think it's still a viable option. I just want to know. I'd love to get to that story point. Good God. That's intense. Oh, he spoke. Handmade Soba. He's going to vote for hers. That's a, a big list y'all got to go there. My twinkling show. She wanted a study session? Momo, come on, girl. Yo, Ida, you know, get some dominance going there, buddy. Momo, can you create like a siren or something? Oh. I was about to say, they all live together, so it's not like they're going to have to figure it out like over the phone. Is it? It's just the hero course that has their own dorms, right? Or one B in the 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 business and the support they don't have on site dorms, correct? Or said Bakugo sleeping? Is he really sleeping? Maybe that's what the opening is. They're gonna put on some big skit instrument concert. They're going to go with the first. Concert.
This is what's in the opening. Okay, now I get it. Now we're getting it. And Jiro's going to lead it. Oh, I still didn't get clarification if Kami, Kami, whatever the girl's name is. Does she Can she project individual like Genjutsu's on people? Or she can only project one thing that everybody sees? Oh shit, he's getting it. Oh, oh, oh. Um, cause that'd be pretty OP if she could play with individual people's minds, or if it's just one broad projection that she does. Like, could she, like, if I'm with the, if I'm with somebody, could she show me them dying and then show them me dying and we're both like, what the hell's going on? Or just a general, like, one screen per... All right, Jiro, it's your time to shine, girl. Where's Deku in this? I feel like he'd be deep in this. I guess they're giving, I guess, you know, let's not talk about Deku. They're letting the other kids, you know, get some screen time. Blushing. Got their own YouTube going. Who was that? Who was that? Is that just like a concert per somebody famous are gonna have show up for this little concert, or was that like a villain video? I need this girl to get on her shit. We need our number one hero back. <laughs> yeah, Aizawa's there with, he's ready to put her ass to bed if he has to. Peels apples like that. Oh, Mirio. Oh, boy, man. I hope. I hope for you, man. R.I.P. to that, man. I, I. Oh, wow. She doesn't know he's dead. Mm. I still don't know how... I didn't account for her in his visions, um, but that's another story for another day. Yeah, she'll end up finding out eventually. Hmm, why well, you gotta bring that up?
God, he's great. Oh god, I'm getting Komogi vibes. She has scars on her arms. Maybe her arms haven't been reset in a while. Figured if overhaul was resetting them, they'd you know not have scars. Or she could rewind. Can she rewind herself? Maybe. I don't know. She'll get there. She just needs time. She needs to know if she's gonna be okay. I feel like she knows he's gonna try to make an all might face, isn't he? Surprise. You got a joke? You got a face for us? Don't freak her out. You're gonna invite her to the festival? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a while till she can kind of Candy apples are damn good. Until you eat all the candy outside part, and then it's like, eh, just toss that shit. I mean, Aizawa's going to have to stay hand-in-hand hand with her. I mean, nothing's going to happen, I don't think. Um, but just in case. I would love to, like... You know how we saw that exchange with uh, All Might and... Um, all for one in the in the hot in the jail. I'd love to pivot back there and see like what's does Stain know what's happened? Does he know All Might is no longer like a symbol? What is Overhaul's mental mindset right now? Uh oh. The videos that we're talking about. Okay, okay, okay. It's a new post from him. Alright, is this the new villain setup for next season? Wolf. It's like a grown up fucking naval laser. Got a dope looking character design. His name is Gentle. Oh shit. I like the character design. Shit. I'm 
don't think it was about the money. Well, he doesn't come off like the introduction of Stain and the introduction of Overhaul, so I it's hard to gauge him. He took out some lower level heroes, but is he a, a th do I need to consider this man a serious threat or I don't know. I would need to see a, a substantial hero on the scene. Yeah, again, just like he said, is he messing around or is he serious? I don't know. I don't know how to judge him or take him right now. He's going to have to do something like dark. I like the character design. It's hard. Okay, so just like I said at the beginning of the episode, they're going to set up the seasons just like they always do. <laughs> um, we had our big climax, which was the overhaul, and it's going to be Slice of Life mixed in with the next setup villain, which is classic My Hero the last, I'd say every season, it's usually been like that. Trying to see if we even after credit scene. Um, I don't know what to make of him yet. Again, I don't know his motives, what he's trying to do. I mean, they showed the classic, like, villain talking, panning over our favorite heroes. Um, okay, no after credit. So it looks like it's going to be a serious threat. Um, but again, I don't know, like I said at the beginning of the episode, what do we really take serious here? If it's, if it's a lot of people are saying, you know, Shigaraki, you know, it's a straight parallel of Deku. You know, they they are opposite sides of the coin, and you know they're moving they're moving along the story, you know, like this. And you know, there there might be little breaks that separate them, like overhaul, like stain, but we get over those issues, and it ends up being them again. So I don't know how serious to take this guy. What big of a threat he's going to be? Does he threaten the League of Villains and heroes? Does he just threaten the heroes for a little bit? Is he just going to be a launching off point, just kind of like another stain thing where, you know, we get a couple episodes, we kind of get stronger from, we overcome it, we wash our hands with it, and we're on to the next one. Same thing with Overhaul. I mean, Overhaul, we had a couple more casualties than we did with the stain. Maybe kind of that's what we'll have again. I just, I mean, I hope it's just not the same wash, rinse, repeat, but knowing, like, how it's gone, and we know that, like, the story is about Deku and the opposite the parallel of Deku is Shigaraki. So like all other villains that are introduced, I feel like they're going to be introduced just for a brief moment. We handle it and we're on to the next one. But hopefully, you know, it's made interesting and good. I mean, that overhaul stuff was great. I really enjoyed it. I wish it would have been more. I would like to have seen kind of, you know, overhaul. I went over this before, like actually released out there, you know, when they were kind of, when we had that um, kind of retrieval arc there. I thought Overhaul was really going to get out and, you know, this drug was going to be released and the heroes were going to have to deal with it. And we were going to see, like, Endeavor brought in, but it was all kind of contained to that. Um, so with this new guy, same thing with Stain. Like, Stain's, I mean, Stain was going around fucking shit up, but when he, when he came across our main characters, you know, it was contained right there and it was handled and it ended right there. Um, one for all... I mean, All for One and All Might was the only one that hit, like, a grand stage, you know, previewed to the world. Everything else has kind of been bottled up and contained. So what Gentle has to offer, we'll kind of see. I hope it makes kind of a big impact. No idea what his quirk is, why the <laughs> pop-up shop gas station was literally moving. I don't know if that was just for effect or something he actually did. I mean, he took off some low-level heroes, so I mean, I'm sure he's you know strong, but we ha I'll have to see him up against somebody for me to be like, oh shit. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing he's gonna be the next pivot point for season five. I don't see us, I don't see us addressing him and his storyline ending this season. Um, so we'll see kind of what it has to offer, and we'll go from there. Again, nothing, 
there's nothing really to discuss this episode at all. I mean, they're having a little sports festival. It looks like Jiro's kind of going to be on the main stage like she's been in the opening. Um, Aerie's going to be there. Yeah, I mean, there's really, it's just a slice of life episode. There's not really much to, uh, even if you want to call it filler, call it filler. Um, minus getting introduced to kind of the new baddie. Um, we'll leave it there. And um, if you guys are going to be around for Hunter Hunter, our final, final episode, a year journey later, We'll be live tomorrow on Twitch. The link is in the description. I'm thinking about 4 p.m. Eastern, so that's my time. I think that's a good point because it's not too early for people like on the west coast of the United States. It's also not too, too late for people in European and Asia, Asian um, countries. But, um, yeah, I'll catch y'all tomorrow. If not, and you're only here for My Hero Academia, I'll see you next Saturday. Demon Slayer will be up on Monday. Full Metal will be back on YouTube this week. Um, yeah, the channel is going to look different. Demon Slayer, Full Metal. Um, and podcast going to be introduced. Um, so fun, fun times. Uh, help us get to 6,000 subscribers. You'll have a good weekend. Like, share, favorite, subscribe. And as always, 